What's up everyone, it's Sam for 64 Wheels here. Back with another Top Gun Matchbox product. Today it is the new aircraft carrier. I'm really excited to open this because this is an extendable playset, like it expands over 20 inches. Um, so I'm really excited to open it. It is an actual remake from about 2005, I think is when they first had this set. Um, it wasn't Top Gun, but it was branded as an aircraft carrier um, in another series, but this is gonna be awesome to open. So I'm pretty excited about it. I love Top Gun. I'm really loving all the Skybuster stuff we're getting with it. So um, I'm gonna give you a quick look at the box here and bump it up just a touch. Um, so it looks like it comes with the same F-18 as comes in a single package, but we'll compare it when it opens. Um, but it is cool that it comes with the plane. Um, the planes are a $3 value roughly. They're two, I th believe they're $2.99 at Walmart. And this set is $19.99. Um, so really it's around 15 or $16 if you take out the value of the plane. So really not bad for that. So really cool art on the front too. <sighs> Missiles and everything. So does have a handle um here's the back of it it kind of shows uh, what it does so it has a little lift for the aircrafts like to take them from below deck to upper deck um it does say it stores eight planes which is kind of cool because so far that's how many have been released for the top gun uh skybuster stuff and it does actually launch missiles out of that little missile silo so it's really cool it has good graphics. It'll be interesting to see if it comes with stickers or if it's already put on there because some of the stickers were on the um, the vintage play set that I opened the other day. So it's got one of the things in the back to pop it open. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because I did buy two of these. These didn't seem as hard to find. Like Walmart, each Walmart I went to had four of them at least. Um, where the matchbox, the vintage matchbox stuff was to a store. Um, and I still have only seen a few of those. So those seem to be a little bit harder to find, but I'm glad they're making the Top Gun stuff plentiful because people, a lot of fans of Top Gun. So that's what it looks like in the box. So it does look like it at least has some stickers on it. So oh, let's see what else we got here. This looks like stickers. Oh, sweet it is. Look at that Top Gun Maverick. Oh, those are awesome. Cool. Little matchbox stickers. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So it does have instructions. So you do have to put it together just a little bit, but nothing too bad. So go ahead and pull the rest out. Uh, I really need to quit opening the back of the boxes because it keeps destroying stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop these open. Pop these tabs so I can get this out. It's pretty good sized. Oh, that's cool because it does look like the bottom of oh look they have like an octopus on the bottom like urchins and stuff that's pretty cool very nice touch so it's high quality plastic it's pretty thick so there's the uh, little gun turret and the guns the missiles here is the like watchtower satellites all that does that turn Oh, it spins. Cool. Radar spins. Um, I believe that's it. So there's the box. The jet is held on, thankfully not by screws, but by two little, two little rubber bands. So that's really nice. Easy to get off um, compared to some of the other toys that have those horrible like twist tie things or they're like screwed on in five different places. So... I do have to bust this out though, I think, to get it open. Let's see. Uh, there's never an elegant way to do this on camera, so I apologize for like all the weird like noises and angles, but this is the real opening experience you're living here. So if you can't find one or don't want to buy one, this is what it's like opening one. What the heck? So I'm busting out the trusty scissors go time and we're waiting I hate to cut up this super nice box but it's already ruined so you know what and this thing is terrible to get into hmm. there it goes I ripped it off a little bit oh my gosh I'm destroying this thing all this to get this jet out of here. 
Oh my gosh, finally, look at that. That was so much work for that. And now the box is totally screwed up, but it's fine. I bought two. Cool. So there it is. There's the F-18. So this is the one that came out of the place, obviously. And there is the one you get, like, on a card. So they appear to be identical. Um, I don't think. Let's see. N-03, they have the same um, date code on them, it looks like. If that's indeed what that is. I think it is. Um, cool. So I'll set this one off to the side because it did come with it. Cool, cool. Box off to the side as well now that it's mangled. Cool. All right, let's check this thing out. Put this down a little bit. Zoop. Adjusting the camera just a touch for you. All right. So here's the up and down action. Somehow. Okay, I don't want to break it. So obviously that goes on there. But I don't want to put anything or move anything yet until I put the stickers on. Um, so let's see here. And see what it comes with. Came with everything. So number one is the stickers, blah, blah, blah. Number two is assembling it. And number three is how to play. Cool. Let's try to extend it real quick. I like it because it has um, it has these little wheels on it, which make it super nice. Like it actually rolls, so it kind of looks like a floating like battleship or aircraft carrier. I mean, the bottom of this really deserves some attention that is so cool they put like little like i can't remember what those are like barnacles on it like there's starfish there's shells they're even up here a little bit and i love the big octopus on it that is such a cool touch great job the detail matchbox great job so let's take a look at this so i don't know exactly what this is but so here's where you unlock it and that's what folds out here so it's not too bad, folds out pretty well. Pretty big. The, the gap in the, might uh, deter some takeoff action, but it's not too bad. And I think this keeps it locked in there too. There it is. So that unlocks the plane, like the storage underneath. So you go put your Dark Star in there and whatever this one was, I can't remember. So that's cool, they do fit in there though. So it's nice to have storage because there's really not a lot of storage for Skybusters. So that's pretty handy. That's in there. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead, since there's not a lot of stickers, I'm going to go ahead and put them on here. So number one, I believe which one is that? Top Gun Maverick. I like that they have the stickers actually say like Top Gun Maverick and they're not just like any old like, you know, aircraft carrier six. So let's see. Oh man, this is, this is touchy to do on camera. This is the hardest part. Tell me in the comments if you like applying stickers or if it's a step you'd rather skip. Oh man, look at that mint. Not too bad. Maverick. I'm gonna press it on, there it goes. Cool. All right, number two. Two, three, four, up at the top. You gotta flip this thing over. With the handle, so. Number two is that same sticker, but it's going on the other side. Make sure it's on there correctly. Look at that. These are going on pretty good, knock on wood. I hope they still keep going on well. Okay. So two and three goes right here. So this one is three. So that goes, this one actually has like a shape to it. So it will have to go on upside down um, right there. Need like that danger zone music playing during this but i can't because it's copyrighted and youtube will take the video down boo cool went on pretty well too maverick okay and then let's see three four four is on the handle is that what i'm saying yeah it's on the handle so they actually have you put the matchbox logo on the handle which i'm fine with i like the matchbox logo so that one, I don't know. I don't know if it goes up or down. It doesn't show. Um, let me check the box on that one. Um, nothing. So I guess that is whichever way you want it. So if you're holding it, 
upright and carrying it like this, you probably want the sticker up facing that way. So that's the way I'm gonna put it on. Oh, I don't wanna mess it up. Boom. There we go, it's on there. All right, and the next one, it's five, six, seven. So five is over here on the end. And that is another Matchbox logo. So I will face that one this way. So it's face up when you put it on, like when you look at the, the storage area. Oh, down just a touch. Here it goes. There's that one on. Two more, six and seven. So that is, actually one of them's on the extended piece. So there it goes. So six goes right here, which could be touchy because it's very close to that, but which is the helipad one. Um, these are shaped, like they have notched corners. So it's easier to tell where they go because obviously like that side is notched. So this one might be a little bit harder. It is kind of in the corner there. Uh, come on. Some of these are tricky. Boom. That was probably one of the harder ones because that clip right there is, or that lip right there is in the way. And then seven goes right there, which is the last one. That one goes right here. There we go. It's all set. So that one, what is that? Oh, that I think actually unlocks, the unlock actually, does that unlock that? Nope, I guess I just wasn't pulling hard enough. So that's how that functions. So you can kind of like load your storage planes on your deck and then bring them up. That's cool, I like that feature. So it might actually, um, yeah, I don't, I think you actually have to have it open to function, make this function. So, um, all right, I'm trying to breeze through this. So let's see, okay. So obviously the tower, which already has stickers on it. It's like little, well, like you can see like it's like shadows of figures in the control room So that one it says one-time assembly, so don't mess it up and it's shaped So I don't think you can mess it up like it's it's only like only goes in one way So that spins and this spins too. It's pretty cool. You can't spin them together because they're there it goes And then the guns go in this one. Where was it? Yeah, this one right here So I open these up Got your two missiles. And then you got your... So where, so this looks like you can actually take this out um, and then put it like, cause you can put it right here. And then you can also take it out and put it right here. Or there's another hole up here. And then there's a hole over here and over here. So you can kind of put them actually wherever you want to put them. Um, the instructions say to put it right here, so that's where I'm going to put it for right now. And then the missiles go in here, right? Or do I have it backwards? Nope, I'm sorry, I have it backwards. Zoop. So they go in here, pretty easy, click, click. Let's do a live fire demonstration. Sweet, they actually have some decent power, so go ahead and load those suckers back up. It's always nice when a toy has um, like a moving part like that to play. This has a lot of moving parts, so this is pretty cool. So there it all is. I think that's everything. Whoop. Yes, yep. So there you go. Lift, elevator, use peg holes. Yep, it even says you can use the peg holes to change the direction of the missile launcher. So and then it shows you like how to carry it. Um, they do tell you to like I guess expand it to carry it, but that's weird because then they would fall out the bottom. But 
Um, this is a pretty cool set. Let's check it out here. So, let's see. I don't know what the best way to play with it is. Put the missiles going over there. So this is, where's the one that came with it? Here's the F-18 that came with it. That's pretty cool though. Sweet. I like it. So there's one on deck. Put the uh, F-14 over here. The F-35 right there. Let's see. If I put the another F-18. So there is space, like, I don't know, on the deck here to put quite a few planes in a helicopter landing spot. There's another matchbox. Skybuster helicopter. So, oh, you can't hardly see it. I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention there. And then you can fit another one of these, even though I think these are both um, enemy ships from, or uh, jets from the, from what the movie says. So, cool. We'll put those down there. Store that one. That one up, because it has the actual stand, which is kind of cool. Nice. This thing is pretty cool. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. That's a rather large playset for what is essentially $15, 16 because you get the free plane with it. So that's pretty cool. I like it. It's not too bad. Give you the upper view. And see how big it is? I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it. Missiles, the control tower. You could do some pretty cool photo shoots with this too, which I might have to I have to try. Let me spin the polarizer. I mean that's pretty cool. Top Gun Maverick. It's got a lot of detail. Let's see if I can actually shoot the camera with it. Oh, sweet. Yes. Awesome. You just got top gunned. Cool. Well, I'm ready to play with this thing. This is cool. And it does have wheels, so it like floats along like I was mentioning. So you can kind of like push it. It rolls pretty, it rolls better than some M2s I've played with, so. It's not too bad. You can see all my matchbox I had out too. This is pretty cool. I'm excited to play with this. This will be a good set. I know I put this on my Facebook page because I do have a 64 wheels Facebook page. Um, but I put it on my personal Facebook page and I know a couple of my um, buddies that have kids bought this for them. And I'm, that's like the coolest thing ever. Like those are cool dads. So buy your kids cool toys like this for Christmas. Or yourself cool toys like this for Christmas. Pretty cool. I like it. I'm excited to play with it more. So again, this is Sam from 64 Wheels. This is the Top Gun, the Matchbox Top Gun Maverick. Um, what is it technically called? Hang on, let me see. Um, I don't know, what is the name? Hang on. I wanna make sure I get it right. The Top Gun Maverick Aircraft Carrier with extendable deck and aircraft lift. So it's pretty cool. It comes with one F-18, like I was saying. Um, price is retail. At Walmart at $19.99. I think they're selling it online. I've seen it at plenty of Walmart, so if you had your Walmart, you should be able to find it. But if not, the link is in the description of the video for it. Um, and it's my affiliate link, so it always helps me. It gives me a few cents every time somebody like buys something. So um, I always appreciate you guys using affiliate links and clicking on that if you're gonna buy it. So if not, it's cool. I'm gonna share these toys either way because I enjoy it. So again, 64 Wheels, Instagram, Facebook. Um, Lamely Group, Live and Let Die Cast, so stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys.